this is Georgine from Amazopia.com, the unofficial Amazon fan page. Today we are going to learn how to take the ebook you have written, upload it to Amazon, and publish it. Let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is take our document that we have all prepared and formatted and ready to go and save it in a format that uh, Amazon will recognize and they can take a DOC format easily and turn it into a Kindle book. So at this point we have our sample document here. We're going to save file, save as, and then we're going to put it in wherever directory we want. And then the important thing is here, it's going to come up depending on what version of Word, uh, Microsoft Word you're using or OpenOffice or whatever you're using it. It'll probably come up with the standard uh, file extension that you don't want. So what you want here is the one that says DOC. Save that and you're ready to go for the next step. So the next thing that we want to look at is writing your book description because if you have written your um, ebook already then the next thing that you will need to do is write basically what amounts to a sales page for your book. Um, that will go in the upload area which we will go to next. So using this book which just happens to be my book as an example uh, let me direct your attention down here to the part where it says book description and this uh, description was written in a text editor um, notepad works just great uh, let me open that. Oops it didn't came up off of the screen here we go. Uh, what I would do is just enter it right here and have it ready because when we go to the upload page this is something that you're going to need and the best formatting available for it is the uh, un word wrapped that way it'll take all the um, carriage returns out of your document and that will make it flow properly in your book description so with that on we go to the next step Okay, so now we're going to our Add a Title page. Uh, at this point we haven't got started, so we're going to uh, enter our book details. Uh, add the name of your book, but don't use any keywords or uh, f keyword phrases, only the book name itself. So, Also, you'll notice right above it, we have Introducing KDP Select. Um, that is a separate program that is probably going to be to your advantage to join, but you can join it at any time. Uh, so we'll discuss that later. For right now, I'm not going to check that box. Uh, if your book is part of a series, you'll check this box and then enter your series title and volume. Although right now, since it's just our first book, I doubt very seriously if it's going to be part of a series. Um, edition number, uh, I would suggest that you go ahead and put edition number one and then if you have corrections or changes which is not at all unusual then you can come back next time and add edition 1.1 and you'll know the difference between what you've got and what you had before and then you'll just keep numbering up and if you have a major revision you can always start with edition number two. Your publisher name is optional since it's probably going to be you. I would leave it blank. Your description. This is where you get your uh, your text file that I discussed before. Uh, we will open that up and let me drag it in here so you can see it. I've highlighted all the text and you'll notice that it doesn't word wrap. We're going to copy it, paste, and it does a beautiful job of formatting it and it's right there. Your contributors. You will put your first name and your last name as the author. Uh, my keyboard has a tendency to drop characters because it's a uh, wireless. Okay, and the author. And then if you want to add another one, If you had someone who helped you with the book, like um, an editor, uh, a narrator, an illustrator, whatever, a uh, photographer, you want to give them credit, add them in there and save it. What language is your book in? There are a lot of choices. In my case, it's only going to be English. Publication date is optional. Uh, Amazon will add that automatically when you actually publish your book. So. I personally would leave it alone. Your ISBN is only needed uh, if you're going to publish outside of Amazon and right now that's not 
within the scope of this discussion. So let's just leave it blank. It's not necessary for Amazon. Uh, generally speaking, you're not going to have a public domain work. Um, if it's a book that you wrote yourself and it's fewer than something like 70 years old, it's not a public domain. So click this button right here, uh, which means that you have the copyright for the book. You will need to add at least a category. You can add up to two categories. So if your book is, say, for example, about antiques and collectibles, then you have several subcategories to choose from. Uh, let's say it's a reference book. So we'll click on that. And then also, if it's also a reference book about sport cards, you can drill down a little bit further and choose what type of sports cards. Save that and you're on to the next thing. Your keywords are the words that you hope your readers are going to be using to search for your book. So since this is about sports, we'll, we'll use that one for the first keyword, second keyword, sports cards, and so on. You'll separate each by comma and you have up to seven keywords to use. Now you need to upload the book cover. Your book cover, if you are very talented, uh, you can do it yourself in uh, in a illustration uh, software, or you can go to Fiverr.com and hire somebody. I've seen some really great book covers at Fiverr.com. So um, let's pretend that you've already got yours. I'm going to go ahead and browse for my sample image. That's going to show up off the screen, but it'll appear and upload. It'll appear in just a few minutes. And then it's time to upload your book file. At this point, we decide whether or not we want to enable digital rights management or not. So generally speaking, I don't. Uh, there's a, it's a very controversial topic, so I'll let you decide that for yourself. Now we're going to browse for the book content file. Again, it's going to show up off the screen, but it'll show up eventually. Now I found it, and I'm going to upload the book. At this point, it's going to take a few minutes to uh, save the book and convert it to Kindle format. So I'm going to say um, save and continue and we'll move on to the next section. Once you have uploaded your book and you get the uh, con upload and conversion successful message, you'll also want to preview your book and see how it looks on the Kindle uh, app or on the actual Kindle. You have two choices on how you want to do that. You can either preview it online I'm going to click that and it will show you this is how it's going to look on the Kindle Fire uh, with portrait orientation. You also have the choice of turning it to landscape and this is how it will look on the Kindle Fire on landscape view. There are other options. This is how it's going to look on the iPad and this is how it's going to look on the Kindle Fire HD. And if you want to see it in portrait there it is. That's the wonderful thing about the online previewer. And also, you can continue to go through the book. It's a little slow, but that way you can see exactly how everything it looks. You can also download the, the book preview file, and that will bring a book, uh, your book file in .mobi, and you can actually load it into your Kindle and look at it. Um, actually in your Kindle app if you have that on your computer and you will see how it looks there. You also have the Windows and Mac choices here. So at this point we're going to save and continue go on to the next step. And now to move on to the uh, last step uh, we're going to choose the territories that uh, our book will be available in uh, and I can't think of any possible reason why you wouldn't want to uh, publish everywhere because everywhere you publish there's a possibility for a sale but just in case there is the option to choose an individual territory say for example the United States only uh, I generally choose worldwide, worldwide rights and then I choose my royalty uh, Always, if you know, obviously, if you can get 70% out of the sale of a book, you would prefer that to 35. You need to look at the uh, various options. 70% uh, royalty requires that your price be uh, between $2.99 and $9.99 in on Amazon.com. So put a price in there, and you can always change your prices later. 
and this will tell you your delivery cost which is the uh, what it cost Amazon to deliver this to your customer uh, and the royalty that you'll get every time you make a sale and then uh, you have all these other places if you are going to sell in these other countries you can just set the price automatically if you want to or you can set it based on uh, whatever their parameters are in this case between 2.6 euros and 9.7 euros so just for fun we're going to put 5.50 euros and then the rest of them we'll just say based on American price once that is done uh, and you'll want to be sure and read this information about pricing uh, the the box that says allow lending for this book um, is automatically checked and I don't believe there's any way to uncheck it so you're going to be lending the book um, and that has some benefits which you'll learn about when you read about KDP select and then this box right here must be checked which is clicking save and publish I confirm that I have all the rights necessary so uh, in this case when you're ready to publish click this box and click save and publish in my case this is just a test book so I'm only going to save as draft and that's the end of this video and I hope that it has been of some help to you to learn how to upload your book to Amazon thanks a lot this is Georgine with Amazopia.com your unofficial Amazon fan page hope to see you again soon